Hello, so I'm going to show you guys how to use this kind of the basics of Pixlr, which is an online photo editing software. Um, it's P-I-X-L-R. That is what it is called. Um, we are going to be using in this class Pixlr E. So again, the website is P-I-X-L-R.com, and we're going to use Pixlr E in this class. When you get in here, you're going to see that you can see your latest projects, but I will tell you that sometimes those um, disappear, so make sure that you're always saving your project as a PXD or a PXZ in order to save them. Because when you save them as a PXD or a PXZ, you can always come back in and continue to work on them. Um, so just in case it disappears, make sure you're saving them as PXD or PXZ. So there's a couple ways that you can start a new image. One is to create new. Now this is if you don't have an image that you are going to be um working on i'm gonna call it random portrait i'm gonna name it i'm gonna keep it the full hd and i'm gonna hit create so this is now here i go i can i'm just working from nothing right so this is if like you're gonna do like a photo collage or something of that sort um so what you can do in order to do that is go find a random portrait is what i did i clicked on one i right click on it and i do copy image and then I can come over here and I do control V and it pastes it in, right? So that's one way that you can do this is you can find images on the internet and you can bring them by doing control C and then put them in here doing control V. Um, another thing that you can do is you can file open image. And this is if you've downloaded photos from your camera or your phone and you want to be able to use them in what you're making. Um, so again, random portraits, and now it's brought this picture in here. So we're just gonna stay here. Um, so I'm just gonna show you this, some of the tools we have. So we have file, and in here you can open images. Um, we have edit, and this is like where you can cut, copy, you can undo. Um, you can do these things called free transform, and now I can actually like make it bigger or smaller, or I can go to edit free distort, and I can actually now like make it look uh, distorted. I can just do the transform, and it allows me to do different things. You can put a stroke around the picture, which um, allows you to. Uh, it didn't work. I'll show you later. Um, it allows you to kind of put a line around stuff. Um, so that's everything under edit. Um, image is where you can change the image size, the canvas size. We have a whole bunch of stuff with layers, which I'll show you how to do layer later. But like, just like in Chrome, Canvas and um, Google Draw, like layers is really important. Um, but you can do a whole bunch of stuff with these layers, and uh, we'll go over that in just a little bit. Um, then we have selecting, so we can select certain pixels, and that can allow us to cut things. We can select all. We can remember when we did if we do something we don't want to do. I don't know why did it disappear. There we go. Um, we can always hit edit undo. There's adjustments in here, which we'll go to in just a little bit. Well, there's a bunch of filters, which we're going to go over, and um, how you can view it. And on the left-hand side here, this is how you can select and arrange things. This is how you can, what's called marquee select and move things around. This is the lasso select, and this is how you can kind of, kind of cut things out of pictures. This is called wand select. And if you go over them, it tells you what it does. It says Use the magic wand to select areas of similar color. So if like, I want everything to be like this white color to be selected, I can click that and now you can see, the, we call these ants. The ants are around everything that's that same shade of white. Um, and so then this is like when you can do things like take this and now you can move it around, right? So I'm gonna edit, undo, and I'm gonna go select, deselect, and notice how ads are popping up. Just close them out. Um, this is a crop tool, so you can crop the photo. This is a cutout tool, um, and it's called a cutout mask. 
it's uh, meant for you to be able to cut out backgrounds and objects. So like if I go in here and I have that selected, I can now go in and I can like so select the area that I want and it's only gonna choose that area. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do this, um, but that's how that tool works. This is how this lasso select tool works. You can like go around things with the lasso select tool. And then if I hit delete, it'll delete it out. I can also, when I'm in this kind of select, I can go select, convert selection. And now if I hit delete, it's going to delete everything but his face. Every time I'm doing something I don't want to do, I'm hitting control Z. Um, this is this kind of distort thing. It's liquify. I think it looks kind of cheesy. I'm not a huge fan of it. It like, it just looks, makes it look cheesy. It's not cool. Um, this is a heal tool. You probably won't use it. What it does is that it allows you to remove like unwanted spots and blemishes. There's also is some kind of cool stuff that you can do with it. I'm going to go select, deselect. Okay. So like, I could take select this eye. And what it's doing is it's finding the nearby stuff and patching it. So if I go like this, now it's going to try to fix that area and it makes it look kind of weird. Um, this is the stamp tool. So what you do is you select the source to so say I want that to be the source. I can come over here and I can actually redo that eye on this side. <laughs> weird. Um, if I wanted to, I could select, I could choose the thing as source, click here. And then now I can actually turn his mouth into his eyeball. Right. So it's kind of a fun thing to do. Um, this is a blur or sharpen. So say the background was too uh, sharp for you. You could go in and decide that like you think his eyes are too sharp. So you're going to blur them out. Um, this is dodge and burn. Um, this allows you to make things more vibrant or not. This allows you to kind of draw. Both of these are allow you to draw on top of it. This allows you to erase what you drew. Um, this allows you to replace colors, fill colors, all this stuff. I kind of recommend that you guys that like you play with on your own time. But when you're working on a final art project, you choose the tools you're going to use and use them. So that's the end of this video. You know what all the tools are. I'm now going to show you how to use some of the tools in the next video.